it's Raven, back with another episode of Call of the Sea. In the last episode, we got electrocuted, <laughs> passed out, woke up in a dried up ocean area, and then explored our house and turned into a fish person. So, <laughs> let's see what happens next. Let's go. Oh. What a quiet and peculiar place. Who made these marks? They look quite old. Having slaves and masters and Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? Although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Cool. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Someone vandalized this mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. I don't know if I want to go over there yet. There's still another spot over here. Oh, there's so many places to go. Some sort of handmade tribal painting. It looks really primitive. Cat on the back of my chair right now. Hello. You can't be there. Primitive hand paintings. I wonder who used to live here. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. We we I, Fish people. I understood that. Okay, let's go this way. Another gate down there. The inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes. Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. Water animal. Is that what I am now? <laughs> that raised a thing. I should wait to do it. Smell the fish through the screen. He's sitting on my arm right now. It 
It's quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago. I feel connected to them somehow. Fire falls from the sky. Awakens God. Is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. This reminds me of some prehistoric cave paintings, like in the Cueva de las Manos in South America. Oh, oh I got stretch. <laughs> Black blood in eyes, like in the well. I really don't understand what's happening here. I have to erase the water level. <laughs> Creativity. I can erase all of these at once. So, two, two more down. One was in here. Is it in here? Or is it in the next one? And then the last one. Then we can go push the button. I should race. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being do trapped here one probably made them stronger as a community. one at a time with that anything? Green hands. We built of them. <laughs> Got the green hands first, the yellow hands, crosses. Okay, so. Green hands are first, so these ones over here. Green hands. That one's second to last. Ours is the last of. Run all the way back up, that's kind of annoying.
really pretty though. The atmosphere is really good in these games. Uh, good. Where was red then? After yellow? It's, I'm gonna say it's after yellow. I can't see beyond the uh, corner of it. Yellow hands are up here, right? Yeah. Yellow. Oops. Oh. Then red. Then that one. And then. I think it's safe to say that red is involved because it has to be all families agreeing to rate. You. And then that one. And then the buttons. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry, I was drinking coffee. <laughs> I didn't have my mouse. Um, this one. Weird sound that it makes. Then it should be this one. Last family. I think this one was like the. Here we go. Huh? Thank you for that, Pat. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, how do I get down there? Uh, uh, how do I get down? Over there? Tunnel over there? See one. Did I miss some? Up here. Huh. Tunnel of some sort. And I never realized that there was this hole over here. No, I'm in human form. I can't be a fish on, on land. I have to push that thing to go in fish form. This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's huh. impressive. I go down now? The house over there. Now I'm in fish farm. Oh, 
change direction. There you go. I don't know why I did that. Last time. Oh, Hanlon. So these creatures are immortal? We father and mother pray to God, God punishment. The sunken continent. Was that their punishment? Huh. Interesting. Different types of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. They rebelled against their masters. The slaves seemed to worship two gods. Their masters look like octopus. Or is that supposed to be us? They rebelled against their masters. The yes, slaves blue, seemed to so worship two gods. To go through all of these? Is it timed? Uh -uh. Oh, come on, I should have made it. already face that way. Is there a button I have to push? This underwater town is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful but dangerous. The danger does not seem to affect me though. current there. Oh. Okay, go. Go! 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 Hiya! Hiya! Uh, go! Stupid! Oh, I made it. Apparently I had time. No, I'm trapped in here forever. Pretty though. Okay, let's go up. My illness has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy. You're even a better than before, my fish person. Illness. I don't know if I'd want to be a fish person. Over here now? Uh. 
Oh god. Oh, this was the house from before. Go that way? Or have to push the button? Oh. Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. How the fuck do you get over there? These creatures lived like slaves, all their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, what do they eat? how Fish? would you know that you are a prisoner? Plants? Now I can enter this tunnel. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, I need to be a fish person again. Woohoo! You know, I'm a bird. Fish. Woohoo, spooky tunnel. <laughs> Another current thing. Go that way? Oh, I can. Change the thing. I want it to go. Ah! Oh, I should have made it. The fuck? strong. I wonder where it will take me. Interesting. That's cool. What the fuck? The pretty lights. Swam through the big stream in the sunken down achievement. That was quite a ride, but it's over now. Human, please. <laughs> that ladder. Someone set up camp in here. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. It's 
seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? Water sound make me have to pee. Well, I gotta pee. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I can, those water sounds are just, ugh. Okay. Lay down, child. Cat is back on my lap and I'm ready to game. Um, I think I want to go this way first. This, 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 oh my god, did I almost forget about Harry? My husband? How could I? Boat? How did he get here then? Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. Ruins. Sanctuary. White sand beach. Raft. A sanctuary? Harry, was that where you went? Masters bought their sanctuary by the boat in order to perform the final stage of. Oh dear, Poor the final state. Is this why I'm changing too? So the guide left the expedition. That would explain the workshop on the White Sand Beach, where I arrived. I am death on this island. I helped her as long as I could, but I won't be accomplished this ritual of madness. I turn to the White Sand Beach to build a raft and leave. I don't know what that says. I'll be there if you change your minds, but I won't wait too long. The sun is setting. It is so beautiful. Oh, how'd they get up there?
<gasps> Harry, that look on your face. They seem to loathe each other. <laughs> I can't stand your lunatic face. I can't stand the noise you make when you eat. Stand to you. She doesn't seem to care much about Harry. And she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. <laughs> Harry's mental decline is more evident each day. But today, he said to find out some place to carry out some ritual. It's the bottom of this I have to keep doing what I've been doing up to now. And what it says go along with him, I can't stand him, but I have to tread lightly because it's only him in the black. Oh. Okay, um, we haven't read this. The currents took me to what looks like a town, a sort of cylindrical pit where with houses all around the walls much more modest than the ruins i saw earlier there are murals like the ones i saw before but they've been defaced without a doubt the people who lived here are the victims of these rituals people who lived in this sunken town were able to adjust the water level at will they people like me is that why i feel so at home here is that the reason this is so familiar to me there's a small sink filled with black ooze. I heard some voices calling me, but they sound similar to the ones of my dream. And I understood what they were saying. I found the exit from the town and dived into a long underground current. It was incredible. I had never felt so free and full of life until now. It led me to another large hall with an opening to the exterior. There was another... There was another Harry's camp. Lush much? The shocking thing was that I had almost forgotten him. How could I forget my husband? I'm so sorry, my dear old pal. Harry and the remaining members of the expedition followed the river down to the mountain peak, and after wandering some days on this entrance, there's a note of Tia Hora, the Polynesian guy leaving the expedition. He was fed up with death and disaster and tried to convince Harry to leave the island. He returned to the beach to build a raft to escape. Okay. That happened. A hydrant. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um. There's nobody. Oh god. This panel looks different from the others. Carol takes what about everything? Viral. It's much more elaborate. Oh. 
Got it. That one's last. Okay, so... That one. That one. Oh shit. This must be my I did it. To the <laughs> That's awesome. And away we go. You think we're going to find my husband alive? Completed chapter five. Ooh. It all makes sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here. As menacing as this place might look. I whoa. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves, like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition, like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? Whoa. They seemed to recognize me as if I was one of their own. Everything you couldn't see us so from the outside of the island looks like as if I first out on towards the open sea thousands of years ago a full moon it can't be yesterday was yesterday was a new moon did I lose track of time or but maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics it's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night it's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be Whoa. back at home in Englewood and... This is cool. Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. Feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood or Boston. I belong to the sea. <laughs> I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Land ho! Can I get off? There it is. The sanctuary. Let me out! So is this where you went, Harry? I made it. Was this your last stop? Or you died. Really cool, though. There's so many tents for only two people left. Another camp. Although it's little more than a few things scattered about. Here we go. Another ladder. My dear old <laughs> pal. I never should have trusted Cass. Oh. I thought she cared about you. But she's just mad. Obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. 
But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? Become a fish oh, person can't with be a me. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? Oh God, he's possessed. Damn it! I, I have to think it over. I can't. I, uh, to tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow. Damn it! Stop writing. Uh -oh. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the black ooze does? What it did to the doctor? Are you out of your mind? A library? What are you talking about, Harry? I had a strange dream today. I was inside a vast library. This is another world. Look at that. Blood it's plus. The blood of these ooze. creatures. Some sort of catalyst. <laughs> Alter. This dagger looks exactly like the one I have. Harry, what is this? Nora, must looks do like it the together. Of a mad man. Change me. Something hidden over here. Can't get to it. Oh, when they go inside. That's why they are camped on opposite sides. They didn't trust each other. I'm gonna walk through the gate. I'm gonna make my shit together. No thanks. Yeah, I'm afraid of needles. <laughs> Ooh, there's a mural over there. Hold on. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger. Wait, okay, I knew that, sis, so. Let's do it. Hey. What's over here? Pass. I think I have the answer. You have to go. Back home and bring Nora here. So I, I have to put my hand inside. Not work. Inside what? That thing. Nope. Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out, uh... and its shape is. <gasps> he hid the knife there. He was holding that picture. Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. I've seen the future. Eternity awaits Wait, her. A camera. It must be Cassandra's. Let's give it a try. Shouldn't be sticking your hand oh, uh, in places what was that? like that. Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. Spots on my hand have been rearranged to form sort of. Oh, it's not. Oh, this is it. I missed miss all of that. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the stone boat carried me through a subterranean river that flows into the sea. The night was strangely clear. The full moon was shining weirdly in a starry sky. Again, this island doesn't seem to obey the laws of physics. I got off at a dock of some sort on the large beach where the sanctuary is. I found another of Harry's campsites. If you could call it a campsite, there's one tent on each side of the beach. I found a circular stone... With a fish head with its mouth open, when I put my hand inside it after a moment of intense pain, the stains on my hand rearranged themselves to form a peculiar pattern. Cass seems losing her mind. I'm not thinking about how the two of them got along here, or it didn't get. 
The device to access the inner sanctuary is fully activated with blood. Blood like mine. Harry, please tell me you didn't do it again. I think he did, girly. I really think that he did do what you didn't want him to do. Uh-oh. Our husband's definitely dead. <laughs> oh, God. My God. This syringe has traces of black ooze. What the hell were you thinking? Black ooze on a Petri dish. Petri dish. That is all the time we have for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe. And please feel free to check out my other videos and my socials down below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!